Hi folks, Mark here at Gilbo Realty. Today we're gonna review homes with pools on the MLS. And we're gonna look at them, we're gonna take see the difference. I may have to make this a two-part series um, just because of the number of pools, houses with pools. There's quite a bit. It's about 13 that I saved, but there's more. Um, I'm not gonna review the villages with pools today because they have way more inventory with pools than the MLS. I'll be honest with you, I'm very disappointed in the MLS listings compared to the Villages listings. Um, whoever does the photography and everything for the Villages are very good. They just really make those homes pop. And it's something that I think some of the realtors listing these houses could probably learn from. And another thing I don't like about the MLS listing, some of them, and this, again, it's it's personal choice, but this is me in my opinion, okay? I don't like the extensively long paragraph of stuff in the house with capital words mixed in all over the place. It kind of makes me go schizophrenic trying to read all this stuff. I want the basics. I want the most important things. Um, I saw a house with solar. They didn't even tell you in the in the in the long paragraph that there was any solar power around the house. Uh, but they told you there was a, a backup generator. Okay, So there's things that realtors could do better to up their game against the villages that I think they aren't doing. And I think just going through some of these, I'm not here to bash realtors. Some are do very well. But I, I think going through some of these, you'll see what I mean. Um, where the pictures are off, they're blurry, they're not cropped properly they're zoomed in not supposed to be zoomed out so there's a bunch of things you could see in some of these in some of these that i think the realtors could do better to compete with the villages and the villages whoever their photographer is just knows what they're doing i mean they have it down to a science i mean there is even uh, an existing home the photographer just knows what they're doing. They know what to take. They know how to set the angle. They know how to get the widest angle of the room with the best photos. They just, they're on top of the game, folks. And that's where, that's probably why the Villages has three or four times the inventory of the MLS. And uh, we'll probably keep it that way unless someone starts up in their game when it comes to these little things. Okay, so... Anyways, let's get going. I'm going to start reviewing some of these. Um, again, this is not a bash on realtors. Some people just may not see what others see. It's more visual perception. It's more attention to detail. And some people have it. Some people don't. And I'm just telling you the photographers and the video videographers at the villages, they know what they're looking at. It makes a difference. So let's hop in and we'll pull some of these up and we'll get going. Okay, this house is on Lawler Loop. This is a pretty home. It looks like it's on the golf course, too. It's got a beautiful back um, lanai with birdcage. The pool lights up at night. It's pretty. It's probably. It also has a little sitting area over here. I'm not sure if it's heated. It's got a little propane or natural gas, uh, you know, little fireplace uh, seating going on. It, it's, it's a pretty house. It's got tile floor, not that vinyl. It's got nice appliances, built-in oven, tall cabinets. Okay, um, so this is this. It's a nice home. I'd like the little sitting area as well. But if you go through, you can definitely tell the difference between this home and some of the photos are nice. Um, you could tell whoever took these pictures, they paid attention to detail where the towels were, where the pillows were, how they were laid out. Um, so that is important. You know, if you have a photographer just going in there and not moving stuff around, making things work, or yourself, you're going in there and not moving things around to make things look better, then you're not really, the photographer's not good and you're not good. So probably would have got rid of that towel. So there's little things, just detail stuff, folks, that really makes a difference when you're looking at these little details of a house, okay? Pool is very pretty. Here's that sitting here. I don't know if it's heated, but it's definitely got jets in it by the looks of it. But this one's nice. So this one's one million three hundred fifty thousand. It's three bed, three bath, two thousand fifty five square feet. Um, it's nice. I think location matters. Well, I wouldn't really call it waterfront. It's kind of that's kind of dilapidated. But it definitely is on a golf course and it's got a pool. One point three five million. 
So that's just one. Let's, um, let's go to another. Okay, 1.25 million. Price cut, 25K on 313. Um, Alston Court. A-L-L-S-T-O-N Court. Okay, it's a nice home. This is welcome to sought after neighborhood in the villages. Bridgeport at Lake Sumter, where luxury living meets the unparalleled beauty. Okay, I like the fact they don't have this paragraph for a description. Bridgeport Stand is one of the most sought after subdivisions in the villages. And now you have the chance to own one. Okay, so let's take a picture. I love the picture here. It's nice. Saw the highlights. They did a good job of that. It's a pretty house. I'm from the north, folks. So for me, that just screams mosquitoes and bugs. I know it could be way off, but I'm just telling you. That's how northern people look at this, okay? But it is along the golf course, okay? It is on there. Um, here's the layout. It's got a big lot. Boasting up to the trail here. Vaulted ceilings. Tile floors. Okay. Let's take a look. Pretty carpet. I like the little window sitting area. Built in. That's always nice. I so touch. I like this back area. The lanai is enclosed, obviously, with the birdcage, but it's got a grill here. It's got a sink. This is pretty. The only thing, again, now, I want to see the pool, right? So they have us listed it with the pool, but I want to see the pool. And there, there's no other pics. That's it. There's no pics of the pool. This is all you got right here. Why? Okay, so anyways, it's not my listing, but this is a it's a pretty important pick. I want a little bit better picture of the pool in a better area, okay? Give me a little bit more of that because that's important. That's why everybody's paying $1.25 million. They're really paying for this, okay? And the house is beautiful, but they're paying for this, all right? Um, okay, let's go on to another one. Okay, 1.1 million, Merhotine Loop. Let's see what the realtor has there. Better than new, no waiting for a pool, golf and waterfront, with a rare double fairway view, and three greens, number six, five, and four, Southern Oaks Championship Golf Course. Okay, pretty long paragraph. Bunch of stuff going on here. Primary retreat to the bedroom, on suite. Saltwater pool, okay. So you guys can skim that if you want. So here's the pool, very nice on the green. Nice pictures. Pretty walk-in, that looks like tile. I don't think that's vinyl, it's tile. Nice big counter. I like the, like I said, I, I like the rectangle islands. I just think they fit better in these homes, especially the open layout. Let's take a look. It's pretty, nice showers, nice bathrooms, little workout room they got you being used in the bedroom. Nice cabinetry. Okay, where's pool? So here's the back. Obviously, that's going to happen quite a bit. And if it was me, as a photographer, I would have waited till they left. That's me. I don't know. Some people are going to take offense to that. Some people aren't. They're going to be out there hanging out with their family, and all these people are going to be hanging out here trying to hit some golf balls. You're definitely probably going to take some golf balls onto your uh, birdcage in your house, potentially. So it's good it's there. But anyways, whatever. It is what it is. I just would have wiped them out. But um, it's it's very nice. You can tell that this is a well-maintained pool. It also has that little sitting area with, with probably jets in it. Hopefully, maybe, potentially heated, maybe. Uh, just got a typical grill. So this is a nice house for 1.1 million, 2,000 square feet, three bed, three bath. It's got a beautiful view in the backyard. Okay, that's very nice. And um, here's another potential for someone if you're looking for a pool on a golf course, maybe this one works for you. So let's go to another one. Okay, Doubting Way. Now I like this house. Uh, bomb paid, newer roof, spectacular custom expanded. Lantana with heated pool and the ninth hole of Hawks Bay Golf Course, four bed, two baths, and a half bath. Bonus room, oversized two car garage. Village of Polo, Polo Ridge, okay? I love this, uh, the, dry, the tile driveway. I love it. Love it. It's pretty. 
Um, beautiful pool in the birdcage. Nice landscaping out front. It's a pretty house. So let's take a look at it. Now this is going to have tile floor. Nice. There's going to be a lot of white in this house. But I do like their cabinets. I love that stove. It's a very nice stove, and that's gas. Built-in oven on the other side as well. It's pretty. Nice desk, nice office. Very nice. Very nice, folks. I like that layout. Nice cabinetry. Okay, so let's look at the pool. Where is it? So this, this layout's kind of funny, but this area here, you walk out here and you walk around to the pool. So you're walking out this way to your pool area. Okay, so I see it shows here. But you can also close this off. So you can you can also have an enclosed lanai. These doors open. They're three doors, one, two, three, and three different sections. So this one and this one will both pull shut. And the same thing on the other side. Um, so it's like it's like a it's like a double uh, double door that just closes. But it's kind of nice the way they have it. This is a nice layout. It's got a great view. Again, I would not. Put the golf cart in view. I would re-erase that for my photo. He, They do have on this one here a sink and a grill in the garage with a vented hood. That's interesting. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think that's a garage. Am I right on that? You guys comment down below because I'm not sure. I think it looks like the garage to me. Um, got the beamer in there, but they got the floor. Floor's not done. looks like a mat. Could be something else. Uh, okay, I mean the landscaping's okay. It's got a beautiful view on the golf course in the back. It's got a nice pool, a nice bird cage. I mean, this costs some bucks to put the driveway in. Landscaping's well kept, well maintained, and trimmed. So this is a nice house, nine hundred fifty thousand. Now this is a twenty five hundred square foot, four bed, three bath home on the golf course with a pool. So take a look at that one. This is Doubting Way. Okay, let's go to another one. Okay, Altair Path. Where is this? Experience luxury living an exceptional expanded Lentana pool home. 830 square feet. Square foot two car plus garage. Go, two, two car plus golf cart garage. Okay, come on guys. Gotta double check your, your, spell, your writing. Located in the village of Pinellas. Okay. 0.28 acre. It's a big lot. This resident is graced by magnificent landscaping. Spanning 2,246 square feet. Okay, so let's take a look at the photos here. It has a 3D tour. We'll look at that. Okay, it looks like potentially solar. So this is a pretty, it's pretty area. Again, there's those three doors. Okay, they, they all close in little sections. Okay, nice pool. Good layout. I would have liked another angle of the pool. Don't get it. Okay, that's great. Okay. Walking into the house. Um, you know, one thing I will say about photos, it's very, very important to capture the flow of the house. So the first picture I'm always going to have in my listing is probably something like this, or maybe a little bit air. I mean, I like being, I don't like being at the street level down below the house. I don't like the house above me. This house looks like it's kind of above the camera. I like being a little bit elevated above the front of the house. So sometimes my main picture will be my nice drone, um, which has a 48 megapixel camera on it. So what I do is I elevate that drone up about 10 feet if I need to. You get a much better photo. You get a much better aerial photography of that house. It's much better than this because some of the landscape is blocking this house out. I think it would have been a lot nicer if they were up in the air a little bit more. Just on that. And photography is, is very important. But the flow of the house is important. That'd be my first picture. And these would be my next ones. Walking in um, to the house. But then it goes into the bedroom. Okay. I know that's not how this house flows. We all know this house flows into the living room. Into the kitchen. Potentially a dining room. Right. Then you walk down a hallway. Or go into the master and the other bedrooms. Then I'm going to work my way out to the lanai. Then I'm going to work my way around the pool. And then I'll take some photos of the outside if I have to of the house. And that, those are going to be the last ones, okay, the, the outside picks. So as you can see, he goes from hallway, 
bedroom, bedroom, same bedroom, a bathroom, another bedroom, a bathroom, a dining area, living room, kitchen. So it's it's kind of all as you're going into another bedroom. Do you understand what I mean? Layout of, a, of photos is so important. How you lay out a house, that gives you a general idea of what's going on with this home. And someone can, so when someone walks into this house, I want them to know where they're going with my photos. And these guys, I feel like they kind of missed out. I mean, these are really nice. I think they need to rearrange their photos a little bit. Okay. Beautiful pool area. Very nice. Got a grill out there. So this is nice. Nice home. Did the driveway floor too. Or the garage floor has been done, been sealed. That's going to go away. That picture is kind of blurry. So 925,000, 2,250 square foot, three bed, three bath, all tear path. If you're looking for a home in that area with a pool, check this one out. Let's go to another one. Okay, Alande Avenue. Where is this one? Golf front plus private pool, no bond. Privacy in the smallest village in the villages. Located in the village of De Alande. De Alande. De Alande. I hope if I if I ruin that, don't hate me. With 24 premier homes and a quiet cul-de-sac, nestled in between the championship golf course and a horse farm. Okay? Some people love or hate that. But let's take a look. Pretty home. Again, that's why I like that little upper angle. Looking slightly down on that house get a better look. And they missed some of the house over here on the left. See that? So they had to come over here. It's because they didn't really use that wide angle lens properly. Could have backed up a little bit. All right. So we got front of the house. Move it in. Going through the I'm assuming the. Again, the photos of your house are so important. How you walk someone through a home. It's great. You want people to know there's a pool. Um. But if I'm walking in here, I know this is not the front door. I don't think. Is it? Maybe it is. Front door looking back. Maybe it's a front door. Front door looking in. Okay, so this is possibly the living room. As we're walking, many different areas. This is the kitchen. Pretty white home. <laughs> right? And you need some color. This home needs some updating. It's, it's still got the... You got the older shower, so you can tell this home needs a little bit of work. Um, it may everything may work fine in it, but you can tell it needs some updates. Carpets, showers, it's still got gold knobs in there. The bird cage is still nice. This outdoor pool is beautiful. I love the tiered cement they did on this. So where is it? It is on the golf course. Man, why do I think I've been in this house? I think I was in this in an open house. I think. I don't remember, but I remember it being, it needed some work. And just updating. You know, you could tell it was a beautiful home, but they needed them updating. But two, 2554, three bed, two bath, 830,000. Um, with a pool. And um, maybe this is the one for you if you're looking to be near the golf course or on it. And have a pool you can hang out in your backyard. This is one. So let's um, let's go to another one. Okay, Southeast 83rd Lucas Court, number 58. Look at this baby. Welcome to the exquisite furnished Lantana model, a spacious retreat boasting over 2,100 square feet in the village of Piedmont. M meticulously maintained home offers a seamless fusion of modern elegance and practical functionality. Okay. And we have a book. Okay. Okay, is that a heated, so gas heated swimming pool, heated in ground solar and gas heated swimming pool, complete with cascading waterfall features that create. A serene ambiance. Relax in the deck. Okay. So let's take a look. Here's the pool. It's pretty. Take a look at that. That's nice. You can walk down in on both two different ways. It's got a nice waterfall over here. Going to walk into the living room. Got a couple of views of that. It's got a little bit smaller kitchen. Smaller kitchen. Let's get a dining room. Is that carpet? Laundry, let's keep a look. Still got these gold showers, so this still got some dated stuff in it. 
But this is pretty. It's got a wall behind you too, guys. And gals. So you can tell I would use this all the time. Especially with the fans out there. So this is pretty. See the, the fountains? Very nice. Very pretty. This, uh, this is a big pool. Love it. Um, it just needs a little bit of updating on the inside. So that's probably why it's priced the way it is. Uh, 799,000, 2,000 square feet. So maybe you can get this at a better price, folks. It's possible. All you can do is ask. Let's go to another one. Yeah, I don't know who does the driveways on these homes, but they're beautiful. I mean, look at this. It really makes a home. They've done a really good job with the landscaping. It just matches the colors of the house. It just goes beautiful with it. And this, this is a really nice picture. Okay. Um, as you can see, you kind of have a waterfront view behind you with a pool. Across the street, though. But let's see. You walk in. Big living room. Walks into the kitchen. Walks out to the lanai in the pool. It's got a nice big uh, island. Sitting area, you, which you can also go out to Lanai. Where is that sitting area? It's over here. Okay. It's pretty. Nice cabinets. It's different. They're dark. Dark cabinets in this home. I like to walk and shower. Dark cabinets. Sometimes, uh, the problem with the dark cabinets, if they chip, you really see the chips. Sometimes. Okay. But just be careful. That's all. Okay. It's nice. Let's see the pool tile. It's got a sitting area in the pool. I like that. You can go put your chairs in there. That's pretty. Looking down, you definitely have some privacy with the plants up around it. Okay. Nice landscaping. You can definitely tell it rained before they took this picture. Everything's so dark. All the landscaping's all wet and dark. So, you're across the street over here. That's what you're looking at. So it's pretty house. 799,000, a little bit under 2,000 square foot. Three bed, two bath. Um, did it say what village? Park. Sorry, folks, as I pause, I try to find a village. But it's it's near the, the Rupert Canine Park. I'm not sure what village it is. I can't remember. Um, and also, what's the recreation center near here? They have it. But anyways, again, as an agent, you got to put in the village. You're in the villages. People want to know what village it's in. And um, it would be nice if they actually put in there what village it was in. So anyways, whatever. $799. 50K price cut on 212, by the way. Okay. And it's 1,914 square foot. Three bed, two bath. Let's go see another one. Okay. Oak Crest Path. 645000 Four grand price cut of 324. It's got a pretty backyard. I say, look at this. It's got a somewhat overgrown tree in the front, but you got gives you some privacy. So there's the back. Here's the kitchen. Nice recessed lighting. Okay. Pretty. A little, a little dark. Woo! Look at that. I feel. I'm not sure what kind of floor that is. It's either tile, wood, or vinyl. But they did the garage floor. That's been sealed. Landscape is nice. Again, uh, picture 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 photos. Oh, okay. Again, if you look at the village's photography, they are night and day on a different planet than anyone in the MLS right now. Okay? You got to up your game, guys. You're going to compete with the villages. You got to up your game. This is why the villages rocks the realtors when it comes to listings because they won't have that fan running in the middle of a photo. Right? They won't just take a picture of the bed with a Christmas decor above it. They'll take a picture of the actual room. They won't take a picture of this. They'll take a picture of the actual bathroom. Okay? So, look. I'm nothing against anybody, okay? I mean, if you're a homeowner and you're happy with this, okay, more power to you. 
But the home's 645, three bed, two bath. It's got a beautiful pool with a birdcage. It's a nice layout. But I'll be honest with you, it, the photos just aren't good enough. So anyways, let's go to the next one. Okay, this is Geraldo Ave. 525,000, three bed, two bath, 1,500 square feet. Looks vacant. Um, I like the fact on this one, you can tell they kind of elevated up the photo. See how the photo's up in the air? Maybe they had a drone. See, I don't like to look at that. I like to look at this much better, even though this is an overgrown palm. These should be trimmed back. They're going to need it. Um, that looks like tile floor to me. It doesn't look like vinyl. Uh, tile in the kitchen. Okay. So it's an older style home. You can tell by the layout. But they do have a beautiful back. A beautiful pool. Bird cage. have a nice yard. I think it backs up to a golf course. I don't know that because no one took a, a photo of it. Um, it looks like they did a drone photo here. Why they didn't do one up above is beyond me. But 1,500 square foot, three bed, two bed, 525. I think the photos could be a little better. They're, they're not bad, but I would like to know where this is located. What does it tell me? Private pool on the golf course, three-year-old roof. So it's on the golf course. We just don't know what the photo looks like from the house to the golf course that I can tell. Let's see. Can we see it? I don't want to be a jerk here, but... Not much. Drone photos, folks. Right there would have been great. He did drone photo towards towards the house. Didn't do it uh, going this way. Okay. It is what it is. Let's go see another one. Okay. Oak Hammock Lane. It's a pretty house. I like these little designers up here. I think I've seen them in a few homes now. I like the brick walkway. Cement driveway. Beautiful pool in the back with a grill with a vented hood. That's nice. That's nice. It's got tile floor. I don't like the, the color of the floor, though. I'm just not a big fan of that color. It really darkens the room up. Now, don't get me wrong. If you put the right furniture in there, maybe it'll, it'll go well. I personally just don't like it. Okay, so let's go. You walk in, come into your kitchen area. You got a little, a little island. You can hang out. Okay, walk in here. You got a little eating area. Okay, bed. Don't lay on that, baby. That's why they got the pads there. Won't be able to get up and walk by morning. My wife could not get off that bed. She's so short. So, um, let's see. Bathroom, okay. This is okay. This house needs updating. It's 2,000 square feet. Three bed, two bath for four eighty five. dollars right? Now, don't get me wrong. You can buy a new home for that, but you're not going to have a pool. Okay? So, add another hundred grand minimum plus a birdcage, one twenty five dollars for the pool and the birdcage, depending how big your pool is and how big this birdcage and everything is going to be. So, if you look here, this is nice. It's a cute pool. It's got a big area, too. It looks like over here you got a sauna. Yep, hot tub. That's covered. Hopefully, now this is empty. Hopefully, they're putting chemicals in that. Nice light. Okay. I mean, again, pictures are okay. Every time we have okay pictures, let's just pull up a village's photography. See what I mean? Big difference. 485, 2,000 square foot. This is not a, it's price right. It's down to 239 a square foot with a pool. That's hard to find right now. So, anyways, let's go to the next one. Okay, this is my last one. This is 478,900. Three bed, two bed, 1,500 square feet. It's a pretty house. Beautiful remodel block and stucco 32 Sierra with a solar heated pool. That's just great about being down south. You can just heat your pool and you can run your pool with solar power without having to use your electric. Sumter Landing, it's the Spanish Springs Town Square or Lake Sumter. Only a short golf cart array. Bond paid, new roof in 2020, new HVAC, new hot water heater, painted driveways. Okay. So they put some work into this one, right? Remodeled, luxury planks. See, again, I just don't like all that. Okay. Let's let's look at this house. Love the driveway. Love the walk into the house. It's pretty. Pool is pretty. Big. You got a nice area. You can sit around it. Plant, put some plants in. It's a little dated in some areas, but they've done a nice job with this. I like the table. Okay. Okay. 
It's nice. I like the sinks. Walk in shower. So this is, um, I wonder if that goes with it. Little tub. Okay, so this is not 470,532 square feet. So let's say $300 a square foot. That's what? Three hundred four fifty. So um, they're pretty good for it. I mean, mint. Let's say four hundred dollars square foot mint with a pool. But again, this is it's a smaller home. And uh, four seventy eight nines. You know, you're you're pretty close. But you got to remember, this bird cage in this pool did, was not cheap. It took some money to put that in. They do have some overgrown landscaping going on, but um, that's pretty easy to take care of. That's that's a couple hour work. But 478.9. So here's the thing. Let me give you my final thoughts and um, let me get to a different screen. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm a little perplexed about real estate agents. Um, the Villages has so many more listings with their agents that you know, it makes it puts the MLS to shame. And the reason being is because, you know, you go to every house that the villages has listed and it doesn't really matter which one it is i mean i could pull up a house that's you know i mean you can see the difference in quality they're using a full a full mirror camera they're taking beautiful photos they just know how to how to take a photo of a room these are professional photographers that just know what they're doing and they just there's never anything hanging out in a photo. Very rarely do I ever see a bad f photo from these folks. And that just makes all the difference in the world. And I can see why realtors probably have a hard time taking a good majority of the business away from the villages. I mean, the villages just know what they have to do to sell a house. The, bil the builder is very good at that. Whoever takes care and hires these photographers are very good. And uh, very rarely do I see a bad photo from these folks. And I think that the realtors could really learn from them instead of trying to compete with them all the time. I think they really need to spend more time in the village's website to get a general idea of how good their photography and everything is on these homes. It's pretty amazing. And they stage everything, too. If there's an empty room, we saw a couple million-dollar homes that were empty that weren't even staged. Okay, that just, this is a what? This is a $520,000 home that's staged by the villages because the room is empty. This house is probably vacant. But they staged it to give it a presence. I don't see that with some of the other listings uh, in the MLS. So I'm sorry to say that, you know, now I know why the, M the, the VLS cleans the clock of the realtors. Because realtors have a lot to learn when it comes to really critiquing everything. It's just so important. So, anyways, I don't want to bash anybody. You know, it is what it is. Not everybody can do, not everybody has the same eye. But you have to put in the time and effort into this business to learn it. Everybody can learn to have a good eye. It's not like you're born with it. Okay? You have to actually put the time and work and effort into it. And when I go through some of these homes on, on, the, on the MLS and I look at, what these folks are putting out there for photography and for descriptions. And another thing I noticed about the village is they never have a huge description. Okay. It's pretty basic and to the point because they're, you don't need it because their pictures tell the story of this house. Let the pictures tell the story. 